personally feel that I've gone from face to face, hand to hand, meeting to meeting, with terrific accuracy, mm -hmm. because there's a genuine appetite to create here. We put pressure on the government by doing what we do, by reporting as it was. Journalism is dangerous. It's been a dream. I mean, this has been truly remarkable. It seems to me that it has really stirred up a bit of interest locally in filmmaking. I've learned a huge amount about what Arab cinema is at the moment, what the ambitions are of some of the uh, Arabic filmmakers, some of the local Qatari filmmakers. I always think of um, any film I want to make, I always think of film as a, a unique international language on its own. It is a language that could be understood by, by anyone. So basically we made it in a very small budget, 180,000 euros, almost nothing. Everybody wants to know more the Arab world, the modern Arab world, what's happening. This was a very personal story for you, as, as all your films are, but particularly because this was about your father. Basically, he used to sit many times <clears throat> and tell me stories of being young, being in the resistance, before the resistance, when he was a child, etc. I just got out of the Ilya Suleiman workshop. It was insanely good. It was really, really, really good. So then came a great, amazing invention called films. It's exciting to see these, uh, these young people very, very motivated, uh, not only by their arguments, but by the whole craft of speaking. It was, uh, was it, for me, a, an eye-opening experience. I wasn't really expecting it. So the whole, the whole experience was different and actually better for me. They were all interesting in, in their own ways. All I know is that you have to do what you really believe. I bet you, if you give the possibility to like very well established directors to go through this experience, I don't think we'll do the job that these guys did. We are on our last day. It has been extraordinary. We have really are pleased with how it's going and we're very excited for tonight's award ceremony. This is the only the first year, but based on the last four days, the future looks very bright in Doha. And the, the best, best film in the festival, festival goes to Team Cutter and, and the, the filmmaker, filmmaker Liz Merriman. Really, really honored. Um, I'm thrilled and yeah, getting a getting a word up here on the stage. It's it's a wonderful thing. And the best Arab film in the festival goes to Pomegranates and Mayor. I can't tell you how much of a privilege and an honor as a Palestinian to take this award in Qatar means to us. You can never tell what movie is better than the other, and you did wonderful jobs. And this is just the beginning, I know it. But we had to choose one film. And the most promising filmmaker award goes to Sofia Almeria, the film The Racer. I think Tribeca's really started something here, and I hope that everybody recognizes that and will come out of hiding and, you know, come and make movies with us. And we hope to see you all again the Doha Tribeca Film Festival 2010. Can we hear 2010? Yeah.